All right, so you know what a domain name is, you've registered your domain, and you've set up your WHM or your hosting for your domain name. Now you need to tell wherever you registered your domain where your DNS is. Your DNS simply tells the uh, domain registrar where your hosting is. And when you click on register your domain or change your DNS in the back end of GVO, you'll see these two DNS features. Now I'm going to show you where to change that and basically any place you've registered your domain name um, they'll all be very similar or you can call them and they'll help you change your your DNS settings. Now it's important to note I want you to remember if you registered your domain name through GVO through this link right here you can skip this step entirely. If not you need to go to wherever you registered your domain name and log into the back office, which we're going to do. Once logged into your back office, most domain registrars are set up pretty much the same look and feel. You're going to want to go to the domain name that you registered and click on the details for the domain name. A new window should pop up and you'll be able to see the details for that domain name wherever you have it registered. Now like I said if you registered through the link in the back end of GVO you don't need to do this but if you registered someplace else you're going to need to change your DNS servers. So this is all you do. Once you get to your domain name, once you click on the details, you'll see somewhere name servers right there. All you need to do is click on manage for your name servers and then remember we um, had that information emailed to us when we set up our WHM or you can get the name servers right here. You're going to copy these ns1.gvodns.com so highlight it, right click and click copy or control C on a Windows computer and then in your domain registrar you're going to um, put that I have specific name servers and then you're going to paste those two or type them into one and two. Let me go back to the GVO back office. You'll see this is one where you'll put in one and this is two. It's pretty easy to do. Copy and paste those right into your domain register under name server one which is ns1.gvodns.com ns2.gvodns.com it's that simple to change your name servers wherever you are registering your domain name. Now what will happen is your domain name knows where your hosting is and knows where to send people when they type in your domain name. So it's that easy. The next step we're going to bring you through your cPanel and how to install your first website. Isn't it exciting? One other quick thing I did want to mention folks is if you're not hosting with G your domain name with GVO meaning that you got your domain name someplace else like GoDaddy or one of the other domain registrars it could take up to 24 hours for your domain DNS to propagate. So when you go to your website it may not be active for 24 hours. If you do register through GVO your domain name it will be instantaneous. So don't be surprised if it takes a few hours up to 24 hours for your DNS to propagate they call it. Alright let's move on to the next video and get your website up and running.